Hello everyone, myself Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this beautiful session. By 2030, 70% of the total vehicles worldwide will only be electric vehicles because they are environment friendly. But recently, according to a Norway university, an electric vehicle emits 13,608 kilogram of carbon dioxide even before hitting the road. And that is the reason Toyota is working on something big, something new, something marvelous and revolutionary in its garage. Yes that is none other than one of its kind the hydrogen engine vehicle which will completely replace the electric vehicle industry have you ever heard about the toyota mirai the hydrogen powered toyota vehicle which uses fuel cells to generate electricity but this time now, Toyota has planned something new and completely different. Yes, the new hydrogen combustion engine. This technology can be a game changer in the whole automotive industry. With all the other manufacturers, the automobile manufacturers are busy with developing the electric vehicles, Toyota is taking a different route, yet unique route in its automotive journey. But it is just not being about different. It is all about being better than others. Let us now try to understand about this revolutionary step taken by Toyota. Yes, I am talking about Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine. How it works? How it is going to impact the whole automotive industry? As we all know, the transportation industry is responsible for 15% of the total carbon emission worldwide. And the traditional engines are the biggest contributor to this pollution problem. And because of this fact, the electric vehicles are definitely gaining the popularity as they are more environment friendly. But the Toyota has come up with another solution to this pollution problem that is carbon neutrality approach, the hydrogen combustion engine. As the hydrogen is the most abundant element in the whole universe and it is also having the high specific energy density as compared to the other non-nuclear power sources. Moreover, the hydrogen is non-toxic and also it is free from polluting waste gases, exhaust gases. Also, the hydrogen can be created or generated using many sources and it can be stored indefinitely. And the shipping of this hydrogen is also relatively easy. That is the reason it is already being used as a power source in buildings, electric cars, forklifts, ships, as well as trains. Now, if we talk about the hydrogen engine, the hydrogen engines have longer ranges and they do not need to be recharged like electric cars. 
and the most interesting fact about this hydrogen engine is that the byproduct coming out of the exhaust pipe is only water which we can drink yes you heard it right there will be no harmful pollutants at all now you must be wondering how it works all the hydrogen engines use the fuel cell which convert the hydrogen into electricity and the hydrogen refueling stations generate on uh, generate hydrogen on the site itself with the process of electrolysis these refueling stations only require water and the power to operate this electrolysis and this power can be directly sourced from solar or the wind energy on the site itself recently you must be aware that toyota has showcased a new way of harnessing the power of hydrogen through its corolla cross h2 concept a prototype car with a hydrogen combustion engine what is this h2 it is the toyota's fancy name for hydrogen powered internal combustion engine which looks like future of automotive technology how and why it can be considered as the future technology for an example with just 5 kg of hydrogen a car can be driven for up to 300 miles or around 500 kilometers and the only thing it emits or ejects from the exhaust pipe is 50 liter of water and if we talk about the performance of this engine the efficiency of this hydrogen based engine is two times more than the efficiency of electric vehicle engine moreover the hydrogen powered cars also have the higher ranges and the faster refueling time compared to the electric vehicles but the best part is the hydrogen based engine reduces the need for limited supply materials like lithium and nickel which are used in electric vehicle batteries this corolla h2 is definitely something to keep an eye on and with the real world testing already underway it won't be too long we see these cars running on the road and then you will definitely forget everything you know about electric cars because the toyota hydrogen combustion engine has too many advantages over others if i summarize all the benefits of this new technology let us start with the main drawback of this electric cars which is charging we have all heard all type of horror stories about the charging of an electric vehicle but with it with the hydrogen as a fuel it is not a big deal at all moreover the hydrogen just takes a couple of minutes or 2 to 5 minutes to fill up or to be refueled and these hydrogen refueling can all also be easily integrated with the traditional gas stations 
and the best part is because of its low use of lithium and nickel it makes more environment friendly compared to the electric vehicles and these hydrogen powered engines emits or ejects only water which is completely non polluting and non toxic in nature due to these many benefits of hydrogen based engine compared to the electric vehicles the japanese government have plans to have 2 lakhs fuel cell powered vehicles on the road by 2025 and 8 lakhs such vehicles by the year 2030 with more refueling stations planned <clears throat> across the country that is all from my side thank you very much